This video is about the JavaScript data structure array. In JavaScript, an array is a data structure that holds a collection of ordered items. Let's break that down. The important parts are JavaScript and collection of ordered items. Some of the specific details of arrays are different from one language to another. In general, what we describe here will serve you in all JavaScript development, but the nuances in other languages may be different. The other important part is collection of ordered items. To explain, let's think of an array like a street. Arrays can be empty, like our street here. Let's add something to our array. An item in an array is like a house on the street. Let's add the string hello to our street array. A collection indicates that there could be more than one item. Let's add a number and a true value. An item in an array can be just about any data type. The order of items matters in an array. We will refer to our houses in order from left to right. To refer to these houses, you could call them by their address. In coding, we call the address of an item an index. You might be tempted to call the address of the first house index 1. However, when you count items in an array, you start at 0. So the address of the first house on the left is index 0. This is sometimes referred to as 0 indexed. The houses on the street describe JavaScript arrays in the abstract, but how do you actually create arrays in JavaScript? Arrays in JavaScript can be identified by a pair of square brackets. To create an array, you can just type a pair of square brackets. There are different ways to create arrays, but for now we'll focus on the one you'll use in your lessons. The items you want to be in your array when you create it can be added between the square brackets, separated by a comma. Let's recreate our array from the street example by adding the number 9, the string hello, and the value true. Arrays can be set to variables just like in the previous lesson. Let's set our array as the value to my array. To access the items in the array, you use the index. Remember, arrays are zero index, so you always start counting at zero. This is how you would access hello. You write the array you want to access, then put the index of the item you want in the square brackets. You could write zero for the index to access nine. You could write two for the index to access true. Let's do a quick review. In JavaScript, an array is a data structure that holds a collection of ordered items. You can think of an array like a street, and the ordered items in the array like houses on the street. Items in arrays are zero index, meaning you start counting at zero instead of one. Anything can be an item in an array. You create an array with a pair of square brackets. You add items between the brackets. You access those items by their index number. Let's look at some examples. Here's an example from the Animoji project in this section. Here, we have an array of different emojis. And as you can see on the video, the emojis are being looped through. So we're looping through the array, starting with the chestnut, and then the sprout, and the branch, and then the tree. Let's do one more example. So here, I'm going to use the vidcode sandbox to create a new array and then access an item in that array. So step one, create an array. I'm going to call my array my colors. And I'm going to fill that array with some of my favorite colors. Here I created my empty array with just two square brackets. Um, and let's add some colors to it. I'm going to do the string red separated with a comma between the next color, which will be purple. And let's also do black. Okay, so to access an item in the array, uh, I know I want to set it to favorite color. So let's make a new variable called favorite color. Fav color. And I'm going to call my array, my colors. And then I'm going to use the index of the color that I want to access. And to figure out the index, I'm going to count from left to right, starting at zero. Zero, one. I want to access purple, so I'm going to put index one here. And to check my work, I'm going to use the log function, which will log out anything I put in between these parentheses down here in the console at the bottom. 
So I'm going to log favorite color and what I expect to show up here is the word purple. So I'll say favorite color. And there we go, purple showed up. So if I wanted to say red instead, I can use the index zero because red is the first item and we start with zero. So I'll put zero here and I expect red to show up down here. And there we go, there's red. And if I wanna access black, let's figure out the index. Zero, one, two. So if I write a two here, I should see black at the bottom. And there's black.